So um, what Patriot One is all about is public safety through threat detection. And our uh, philosophy of detection is that people should be able to go about their business unimpeded and not have to go through fixed security checkpoints to be wanded, padded down, you know, every time they go into a hotel or a shopping mall or, or anywhere where the public may be at risk of acts of violence. So what we've developed is a number of uh, sensors um, that can be uh, concealed, so they can be covert and unobtrusive, allow people to pass through with their everyday objects uh, unimpeded, but when a weapon is present, whether uh, overt or, or concealed, we can generate an alert. Everything is powered by artificial intelligence. So we have algorithms that have been trained to recognize weapons from the signatures we get through targeted magnetic resonance, through cognitive microwave radar, or through video object recognition. So we have a number of different sensors on a common platform that we call PATSCAN. What we have in this room is some of the sort of fixtures in which these systems can be concealed. So, for example, uh, advertising boxes of the sort you see in uh, most of the major hotels here in, uh, in Las Vegas. Uh, planter pots, we have a variety of designs. They're a kind of uh, nice attractive fixture that again you see in many different environments in the education sector, corporate sector, health, tourism and hospitality, etc. So it's all about allowing the public to go about their business uh, without uh, obvious heavy security, but making them safer wherever they go by detecting threats. Well, often, you know, unfortunately, security are having to respond to an attack in progress. The idea about being able to do this covert detection is to be preemptive and to prevent attacks from happening. Now, to be clear, the presence of a weapon doesn't always equal a threat. In concealed carry states, there are many law-abiding citizens uh, lawfully carrying weapons. So this is an information system to empower humans to make good decisions. If you know th that a weapon is present and then somebody is acting in a suspicious manner, that's good information to have. If it's a school and you see a weapon coming in, well, you're probably going to am amount an immediate response. If it's a, a hotel in Vegas or a, um, a, you know, a shopping mall in Texas, as I say, the presence of a weapon doesn't always equal threat. So this is about giving information, good information, to security decision makers so that they can decide how to respond in an appropriate manner but to get on top of threats. So we're focused on uh, all types of guns, long barrel weapons and, uh, and handguns as well as bladed weapons. We also, um, through these systems, can detect the presence of an anomalous quantity of metal, for example a, a person born IED with all that metal shrapnel. We also uh, have a joint venture um, down in uh, Dallas, Texas uh, with Sotec Secure which is detecting explosives through chemical sensing, standoff, uh, standoff explosive detection by sensing the presence of, uh, of explosives in the air. So we have a variety of different sensors operating on a common platform. So we've just now been uh, going out on our uh, initial commercial deployments and we're in a number of sectors. Education is uh, where we have very, very strong interest. We've been working with the University of North Dakota for quite some time now. We have a center of excellence there. Um, we're into uh, another university, some high schools in, in West Virginia. The health sector is uh, very strongly interested in weapons detection. Of course, the tourism and hospitality sector and Westgate is uh, by no means the, uh, the only uh, hotel group that we're working with. And then uh, stadiums and event centers. We uh, recently announced we're working with the Cincinnati Reds. Um, so it's really, you know, anywhere where the public gather and are at risk of acts of violence are places where our technology could apply. Well, that's an excellent point because that, again, is extremely important to us. We know that, you know, people in, you know, Western societies don't want to live in, in a mass surveillance state. So we don't gather any personal information. We don't store or transmit any personal data. We don't generate uh, body images in the way that some other technologies do, that the sort of scanners you see in an airport. So people are actually of no interest to us unless they're carrying uh, a threat. They only become of interest when the threat is detected. So what our sensors are looking for is the presence of a weapon. We're not making a determination on whether somebody is a suspicious individual or, or not. We leave that to security. Our job is to empower security by giving them information on the presence of a weapon. So in that sense, you know, we stay on very clearly on the right side of the line when it comes to civil liberties and, and, uh, and personal privacy.